designing in Canva as much as the next person, but there are just a few things that Canva can't do. So today I'll share my top five design hacks that you can do absolutely for free with photopea.com. Now I'm gonna try and share these top five design hacks with you in less than 10 minutes. So let's start the clock and dive right in. Collegiate curved text designs are super, super popular on Etsy and in tons of different niches. But here on Etsy, if we use a college type font, I have this one college block 2.0 that I actually got from creativefabrica.com. I do have a link for a free trial for them down in the description. But to get that kind of curved style, you typically here in Canva would click effects and come down to curve, and then you would change the amount of the curvature. But this isn't just really quite exactly right when it comes to the style of those collegiate fonts. So instead, let's save this without the curve and bring it over to photopea.com. If you're not familiar with Photopea, it is a free version of Photoshop. You can download it right to your computer or you can use it right in the web browser like I am here. If you have any issues, sometimes it works better in Chrome than in Safari. So let's click open from computer and open up that design that we just saved with the straight across college text. Now this is so simple, all you have to do is click edit, come down to the transform button, here we'll come down to warp, so edit, transform, warp, and then come up to this style button here on the top, and the one that you want to select is arch. When we click arch, you'll see it's a little bit arched too far. So up here for the bend percentage, we can just pull this little drop down arrow and we can lessen the amount that it is curved. And you can kind of choose where the right amount is for you, but I think somewhere on this 15, 17% mark is about where I typically like mine. And there in just a few seconds, you have kind of more of that style that's really popular on Etsy. And here in Canva is the actual comparison. So here's Canva's curved text and here's kind of the more actual Harvard collegiate style curve that really actually looks so much better to me. On to number two, the retro wavy text designs. These are all the rage on Etsy and you can really customize these however you want. So here all I did was put the same word over and over again. I'm using the peace and love font and I did make sure they were all in capitals because that does work better for these types of designs. And then just save the design. You can make each line a different color or do it however you like, but I'll just show you the basic way to do this. So open this design in photop.com and it's basically the exact same steps as the first one that I showed you. You click edit, transform and warp and then now we get this style button here and we'll actually click the wave button and this again is a little bit too wavy for my liking so you can edit this to be a little bit less intense again somewhere around this like 17 to 22 percent maybe even 25 or 34 you know somewhere in this range i probably like 25 27 percent the best myself and they're as simple as you can have it you have the retro wavy text design and then on to number three, I'll show you how to make designs just like these. So this is called using a clipping mask. So you'll make an original design just like I showed you, but then you're going to clip a design on top of it to make those letters look like that. So it can be gradient designs, it can be different patterns. Really the sky is the limit with these. So showing you how to make these, I'll use the two PNGs I just made in the first and second examples. And then we just need to get the patterns that we're going to clip onto those designs. So here on Canva, I just typed in gradient into the elements bar and I found this cute pink and purple one that I made the whole size of my page here and I'll save that. And I also found, like you saw in the example, this kind of spider web design. And so I'll save both of those and we'll head back to Photopea. So starting off with our collegiate text design, it is really popular to do these with different patterns. So the way that you actually give the pattern to the text that you already created is super simple. We'll click file, open and place. And here you want to select the pattern that you want to add over top of it. So this one I'm doing the spider web. So you'll see this spider web is now on top of the text, but also everywhere else. If you just saved it like this, then you'd have extra spider web. So what you need to do is click the layer button and then clipping mask. And there you have it. Now the only place you see the spider webs is on top of the letters. And to save designs here on Photopea is super simple. Click File, Export as PNG, 
and then click this save button and that will save your design. Same thing if you wanted to do that to say a retro wavy design, but you really could do this to any text. We'll follow the same steps, file, open in place, select our gradient for this example, add that over top, click layer and then clipping mask. And now we have a cool gradient text design. And then on to hack number four, we are going to show you how to change different parts of your graphics to different colors if it's not quite exactly what you want. So for this example, I'll be using this cute Santa Claus. Let's say I wanted it to be more pink Christmas themed for a pink Christmas themed sweatshirt. So we'd come over to Photo P, just like I've been showing you, click open from computer and open up that Santa Claus, I think it was this one here. And again, I got this from Creative Fabrica, my favorite, not sponsored. So you will come over here to the left and get this color dropper tool. So right over here, you can see that. Let's say I want it to match this pink color right here. Now you can see that that's selected. And then we will click on this paint button this paint bucket right here. And now we can actually just color in this Santa hat to be a little bit more pink themed. I could even give him a little bit more of a pink tongue if I wanted or pink lips. And now this would make a lot more sense on a pink Christmas themed item instead of having the red hat. So super duper simple, but you can really customize a lot of different graphics here in Photo P in ways that you can't do in Canva. And then last, but certainly not least, at number five, we have the cutout text designs. So here on Canva, I'm showing you this example. It says world's best auntie. And you have the word auntie in a white font over top of this black box. Now let me show you how I actually created this so you can do this for yourself. So in the Canva area, you always have these shapes buttons here. I like to select this kind of curved edge box and then you can make this whatever size that you need for something like this, but it doesn't have to be just this type of kind of collegiate style with a cutout underneath. You can use this for really any type of design that you'd wanna make and then make this the same color as the rest of your design. And then this is the most important step, the text that you put over top of it that we're going to cut out. So this is so you'd see this word ante, you'd see the shirt through it. So this is gonna be cut out and see through, but we have to again go over to photo P. So once you've got the design that you want with a text in a totally different color so that it's really easy to see it, um, again, if you want to make it the same color as the background, that's really nice and simple. Once you've got the design the way that you want it, save this as a transparent PNG, and then we will head over to Photo P just like normal. So once you open that design into Photo P, super simple, we'll come over to this little eraser tool on the side and click Magic Eraser. And you can zoom in a little bit and just select each of the letters that you want deleted and boom, you're done. So now when you put this design on top of a t-shirt, you'll see the t-shirt color through it. You can do this hack with any kind of graphics, any fonts. So I hope you have a ton of fun with this. And if you got a ton from this tutorial, type the word apple down in the comments below so I know you stayed all the way until the end and I'll see you in the next one.